Best Toyota Tacoma sound improvement for the buck. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, this is the best Toyota Tacoma sound improvement for the buck. If you don't do anything else with the sound, and I'm talking about the radio, this is what you need to do. And of course, these are the kicker tweeters. These things are awesome. They completely transform the way the truck sounds. And we're going to install them in my new Toyota Tacoma today. First step, disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. You know, I've done it both ways, and the more I think about it, whenever you're messing with anything electrical, even if it's the speakers or working near the airbags, which we're going to be doing, best to disconnect the power so that you don't have any unfortunate mishaps. Of course, this takes a 10 millimeter socket. The holy grail of doing anything with a Toyota Tacoma. And make sure you tuck it down behind the battery so it doesn't accidentally pop up, make connection with the terminal again, and repower the truck. Next up, you have to remove the pillar cover over here, the A-pillar cover. To do that, you just pop this SRS airbag little cover right here. Behind that will expose a 10 millimeter bolt. You have to remove the 10 millimeter bolt and then this, this kind of pulls out at a little bit of an angle from the front. There's some little hook-like connectors up there that hold it in. So you just kind of grab this, pull it out a little tip, run something right along the uh, seal right here before you do it, just to make sure that it's not stuck on here. I've had that happen. You can just push it with your hand, actually, just to make sure that uh, it's free. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off, and then we have to pop the tweeter cover right here. That's held on with just some clips. That will expose the speaker, which should be held in by, you guessed it, 10 millimeter bolts, screws rather, and then we can go ahead and pull the speaker. Pulling this off, again, is not too complicated. Uh, I would just use a pry tool to try to get under the edge here. You may have to use a real small screwdriver because it's a very tight fit, but we're gonna try with a plastic pry tool first. Always better to use plastic if you can. And I can tell already I'm not going to be able to get over with my severely dulled uh, trim tool. I'll try one more. Uh, so I'm going to have to grab a screwdriver just to get under the edge. And you have to be very careful because you don't want to mar this plastic, obviously. Ah, there, actually, I got it that way. Now I'm going to use the trim tool. There, just pop it off. It's just that simple. There's just some little nubs on here. That's all you want to get to really now it should be a 10 millimeter bolt you want to go ahead and remove that and there is a little washer like thing up here uh, you want to make sure you keep track of that it may drop out we shall see might go ahead and see if I can just pull it out and then I don't have to worry about it yeah I just make sure you go ahead and remove that so you don't lose it. It falls out, ends up somewhere else. Uh, so we'll set that aside. Now, I should be able to just work this out. I should be able to just pull it like so. And then just pull it out like that. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy. And you can see, here is your airbag. Now that's what you definitely do not want to mess with. And a couple of things to note, uh, here are the little nubs. These are what have to fit back down. You can see they're kind of angled in. These need to kind of slide up at an angle back in in the front. And then there is this little tab. Where is it? Right here. That little tab is going to go in this hole here. So you want to make sure you get that right. Now, as I mentioned before, we have to go ahead and remove the cover. It should just pull up. It kind of pulls up, again, kind of at a little bit of an angle. I will use a trim tool to do that. Let's see if we can't pry this off. Again, I'm just going to try to get under the edges a little bit. And I think it's best, if I recall, to start from the front. 
I definitely need to invest in some new trim removal tools. These are uh, past it, I think. There, you could hear it pop up a little bit in the front. That's what you want. And then you just kind of work your way around. There. And you can see right there are what we're taking out. These are the actual tabs. And then there's one over here uh, on the side. So we now have the speaker exposed, if you will. These are the two bolts we have to take out. There's one here and one back here. They are 10 millimeter. We've got the screws out. Now we should just be able to lift the speaker, uh, paying attention to how it's in there. And then uh, you don't want to pull too hard until you know how much you have to work with in the way of wiring. The wiring is back. It looks to me yeah, that white little plug right down here on the left. That's what you need to disconnect. It should be a couple of little push-in areas, I think, if I recall. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off and get the speaker out. Okay, we've got the speaker out and right here on the edge, and it will be the edge facing you as a little push-in prong. That's what you want to push in to release the speaker. Comes off of there pretty easy, and for me, the wire just stayed right here so it didn't fall down in the dash somewhere, because that would be a drag. Now, I need to grab the other speaker, the new kicker speaker, and we're gonna go ahead and get that thing put in, and then I'll put the, the bolts back in. Reassemble the cover, the cover for the airbag and the speaker cover just pops back in. And then we'll go over and do the passenger side, which is a little bit different because we have a handle over there. The passenger side requires a little bit more work. You've got two bolts that you have to remove. One behind this cover, one behind the one at the bottom. And then you pull the uh, speaker cover off the same way right after you remove the side or the A pillar, I guess, trim piece. So we're going to go ahead, pop these covers get those two 10 millimeter bolts out and then carry on with the rest. Reluctantly, I'm gonna use the end of a screwdriver just to get under the edge and then I'll use my trim tool to hopefully pop it the rest of the way. Again, trying not to damage these because that would be unfortunate. You can see the bolt is right behind here. Do the same thing on the bottom. And I am being extra careful uh, because nothing would be worse than to damage these pieces. And then you get to look at that all the time. So why not just take your time and uh, make sure you don't damage anything. But we have the uh, covers exposed, or the bolts exposed, I should say. And I'm going to go ahead and remove these bolts now. The other bolt. Well, let's see if this thing just pulls off. It is not pulling off. So I'm not going to force it to come off. I don't really want it to come off unless it, you know, wants to. So now, again, I want to make sure that I'm free from the rubber piece on the side. That's just checking to make sure that they didn't get any extra adhesive over there or something. There's a lot of adhesive in these trucks. So you don't want to pull this off and have your trim piece come with you. That's just more work. So now, we can actually just grab and pull, like we did before, like so. And this one is set up a little bit different. On this one, we do have a long kind of uh, arm here, if you will, if you can see that, uh, that goes in right here at this little receptacle at the top, and then uh, the rest of it's pretty much the same. There is a little nub right here, and we popped up like we should and it should now one thing I want to note which I just forgot about there is a little sensor like piece right up in the corner right there yeah, that, that has a wire connected to it so we're gonna see if I can lay this out without disconnecting that uh, I don't think I can so I am gonna have to pull the wire on that uh, it should be pretty simple I think just another one of these little push in pop out kind of deals so what I'm talking about is this little connector right here 
uh, there is a connection down there you have to make sure that you pop out uh, which I just did so we'll set that aside and right here is the little sensor I'm talking about okay so we've got that done now it's just a matter of removing the bolts or the screws or whatever you want to call them like I did on the other side just drop my socket it's probably behind the glove box so now I get to find that all right one of the negatives to doing mods is when stuff like this happens I could not find the socket it is somewhere behind the dash down in that hole uh, hopefully it will rattle out and fall down here behind in the wheel well somewhere um, I took the side panels off, crawled underneath there, took the glove box out, uh, at least the filter area to see if maybe I could see something, and I could not. So that is a tool fail for this mod. Anyway, we're going to carry on. I'm going to go ahead and remount or mount the new kicker speaker in there and uh, connect it all up, and then I'll do a little test uh, and see if it sounds better. And I'm going to go for a test ride and see if I hear anything rattling around down there. And then I'll have to do a little more extensive tear apart to find that socket. All right, I have tested the radio. Unfortunately, due to copyright laws, I can't play it for you guys uh, for obvious reasons. But it sounds fantastic, just like I expected it to be. Uh, again, I got to say, it is the best sound upgrade for the Toyota Tacoma. It's amazing what such a little thing can actually do, but it's fantastic. And I would recommend if you're looking to improve the sound without going crazy, you know, redoing the whole system, tweeters are the way to go. And I would stop there. Replacing the door speakers and all that really makes little to no difference. Now, as far as the socket goes, the missing lost socket, uh, I did not find it, as I mentioned. I'm going to drive around a little bit, see if I get lucky, and maybe it'll bounce out of wherever it's sitting. Uh, you know, driving around in the truck tends to move things around. I'm not hearing any noises, like it's rattling against anything, so that's good. At least I don't have that annoyance, but still, uh, it really irks me. Number one, that I dropped the socket. Number two, that I couldn't find it. So we shall see. Anyway, that is the mod. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you've done it and what you think of it. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about full-size trucks. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.